my channel if you're new my name is Carolina thank you so much for watching for today's video I'm gonna be actually deep potting some lipstick on camera um, I actually film the deep potting and showing you guys how I deep potted all the lipsticks how I put it into the palette in a separate clip which I'll show you guys in a second but I just wanted to like quickly talk to you guys through and kind of show you the finished lip palette I have a lot a lot of lipsticks and I actually do freelance on the side I do freelance in the area that I'm at for myself I'll do like bridal clients I'll do like bridesmaids mother of the bride mother of the groom I've done baby showers I've done a quinceanera um, I've done like different events weddings little things like that I've done with freelance and I have a kit and everything um, but because I'm going to be doing a little bit more and I'm actually teaming up with another team here in the area that I'm at, I wanted to go ahead and create a lip palette that I can keep in my kit with like neutral shades, nudes, pinkies, um, like deep nudes and something that I could just like, um, have that's so much more convenient than carrying around a lot of lipsticks, which I'm going to show you guys. So I have my uh, KKW lipsticks right here. Um, right here I have six of them. You see they're like really bulky and it's just hard to like travel with these um, when I do like freelance work. So I decided to go ahead and depot them into the view set little mini palette, which I have right here. So this is actually the final product of what I depotted and you guys can see it's just so pleasing to the eye. I have my nudes here, pinky mauve shades, more pinky tones here and then some darker like nude shades. Um, I love this palette you guys. Oh my god. I honestly recommend you guys do this if you are a makeup artist. I don't recommend you guys do this if you're not a like makeup artist or a freelance makeup artist. Just because this is so tedious to do, it took me so long to do this and my camera kept dying. I didn't have enough storage on my little memory card, which is what you guys are going to see. I tried to include as much as possible, but I also didn't want to make it like super long and repetitive and I was just not able to like record the end just because my memory card was just not letting me record. It just kept saying it was full and I didn't want to lose the footage that I had already recorded that actually showed you guys how I depotted the lipsticks. When I first got this palette in the mail, like empty, I was like, oh my god, this is so tiny. Like, I didn't realize that it was going to be, like, this tiny. Um, and I was like, okay, I don't think the lipsticks that I have, like, the full-size lipsticks that I have is going to, like, all fit in here. I think I'm going to have to use, like, some of the minis that I have. So I had, like, already, like, set aside and, like, kind of organized how I wanted the lipsticks to go. Um, but it actually fit all of the lipsticks. The full-size lipsticks that I have, it fit. So I used mostly the KKW ones, um, the nude collection and this one is 0.14 ounces and it fit the whole lipstick in this. Some spaces do have a little bit less because I use little mini size lipsticks that I have. It's not like perfect but because I'm going to be using it a lot and it's going to get used up, it's not something that I'm just going to have on the side and only use it like here and there. I decided not to put it into the microwave and melt it so I can like have it perfect on top. So you definitely can do that with this palette. Melting them can also like alter the original lipstick. So I didn't want to do that. And I was like, you know what? It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to be using this palette anyways. It's going to get messy. It's not going to be perfect. So I just decided to skip that step. So on the top right here, it has like all my nude shades. These are all the KKW nudes. At the bottom, I have some pinky shades, some like neutral pinks. Um, and then like I said, these ones are some of the ones that were the little mini size lipsticks. I have some like darker neutrals here and then more pinks here. These are just like the shades that most clients like lean towards. I don't really get a lot of requests for like very like bold lip colors. I get more nudes, pinky nudes. I also love that I can actually take 
some of the shades and mix and match, kind of make like my own custom shade. I was already doing that before and I already had like lipsticks that I would kind of like mix and match um, when I would go and do like freelance makeup. But I'm happy that I have everything here like right on my hand and I can just grab a little bit, put it into like my little acrylic palette, just kind of like mix them and then apply it to the client's lip. So I'm obsessed with this, I love this. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Um, but I'm happy I did and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I actually did it two ways. The first one was using like a little acrylic palette like this. This one's from AOA Studio. It was like a dollar. And it also came with this little like spatula. So I just like depotted it from the lipstick tube, put it in here. And I would just like smash down the lipstick, kind of like break it apart. And then I would put it into an empty little space in the palette. Um, I didn't mind doing that but I actually switched over to just putting the lipstick in here and then like kind of crushing it smashing it in here I just felt like this took a lot of product rather than me putting the lipstick directly in here and kind of just like smashing it down this like just it is like wasted a lot of product I didn't want to waste a lot of product so I just started doing that um, I did obviously sanitize wash my hands, everything, everything in my kit, everything that I do is always, always sanitized um, for clients because again, I am working on other people on clients. Um, so everything was sanitized. So if you are going to do this, make sure that you please, please sanitize everything that you're going to be using, your spatula, your little acrylic palette, the actual view set palette before, during, after, like all the time but yes I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the clips and everything but again this is what the final palette looks like I will leave a link to this down below also don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video you guys it helps me out so much when you guys like and subscribe to my channel um, so I appreciate it so much. Also, don't forget that I do have a mini giveaway going on. I will leave a link to that video down below if you guys want to enter that giveaway. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I depotted these.